just in danger on Nintendo Switch. Got a little giveaway to look out for the codes. Firstly, on with this really quick review. It's surprisingly good to tell you the truth, this game. It's, uh, it's a runner game, I've played many of them, like Runner 3. Uh, this has a little bit of charm to it, you know, it's a lot of fun. I think the uh, difficulty in the game itself can frustrate some players, but I found it, well, to be especially frustrating because I'm no good at these running games. You probably noticed that by the gameplay, but it is addictive and is a lot of fun collecting all the uh, char you know, characters' power ups by collecting coins and buying uh, new ones in a kind of a shop. You can unlock a gift and you'll get more coins. It throws all the good, um, you know, loot box mechanics at you uh, without getting into your wallet and digging out a few quid so that's good it's fun you know it's, it's spent for kids and that's what they like opening anything that's uh, has to be open with coins or be collected you're gonna be into that you know it is a fun game the levels are a real challenge and they change every time you play them and they're not always the same which I noticed which was good quite impressed by that you will die cheat deaths but it's nothing new this sort of game is a challenge there's no hand holding here and you can take shortcuts by buying a helicopter to the next level which is fun you know obviously you've got to pay for that with the coins uh, there's a lot of heroes to unlock you know like Lara Croft Bruce Lee Spider-Man just to name a few but of course they only resemble the icon they portray uh, but it's good enough you know when you collect the coins and you look all these characters, it's really good. And the shortcuts help. It's like simple mobile me game mechanics, but you, you know, as I said, you don't have to dig out the wallet. Not here. The music's upbeat. It's fun. And they're really great. The graphics aren't nothing to look at, but yes, you know, it's supposed to be a throwback game. You know, it's meant to look all blocky, Minecrafty. You know, it's it's pretty decent that way. I do like the game. I think it's super for the kids as well. And I keep coming back to it. It will frustrate the hell out of you. It did with me, but I just a lot liked unlocking all the characters. Uh, you had a pretty good time in this game, you know. So I hope uh, you'll enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm sorry I sucked at it. I'm sorry my audio on my mic is all screwed up. I'm going to have to get a new mic or something. But it's just not working out, so, you know, it's a bit tinny, a bit echoey. I can't do anything about it. But. There we go. It is what it is. This game is pretty decent. Give it a solid 8 out of 10. I'd give it 9 out of 10 if I was any better at it, but <laughs> the frustrating value of this game is it will kick your ass. But hey, you need a challenging game uh, like this just to keep you uh, sane, really. I was quite impressed with some of these levels. You know, jumping over you know, these wheels of death is fun in itself. And of course, there's another code for you. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to mention that you to actually redeemed it. I'd like to hear people who redeem it. Another giveaway will be along in a day or two, so look out for that. Until then, thanks for watching, and yeah, definitely go out and buy this game. I'm, I'm waffling on, I know, but it is a good challenge, and it, when you nearly get there and you fail at that turtle, <laughs> it's so frustrating. But when you do make it, it's really good. Interesting levels and good game design. Definitely worth an 8 out of 10.